Okay, what we have here is a Suzuki four and a half horse engine, motor, outboard motor. Problem is the fuel tank is rusted. Here's a good view of some of the holes. Um, whole tank. There's an idea of the whole tank and the whole the whole thing. On the other side of the tank is also another hole that's just as big and ugly as the first one you saw. Uh, this tank is obsolete and no longer available anyway, anywhere. So what we've done is we've added this uh, little fuel pump made by Conley Precision Motors. And down in here where you can see, we've drilled a little hole in, this, in the block for the little hose, the nipple to fit. And then we've mounted our pump on an available screw right there with the uh, loom clamp that they gave us. And we just wired in this uh, little fitting right there where your uh, fuel comes into and that's a quarter inch uh, female female coupler that gives us a place to put a clamp to mount that with and then just a basic quarter inch nipple and some uh, 5 30 seconds inside diameter Tigon brand made for gasoline model airplane, model airplane weed eaters. tubing like for weed eaters and such um, we just we're going to trim these lines a little shorter and then you can see as it goes right into the carburetor. This is a float carburetor and all that little pump does is supposed to do a, yeah, a what is it, what's a quarter cup of gasoline in a minute and it will and it does. I ran this motor for 20 minutes on that little pump uh, with the tank being on the on the ground so it was not gravity fed and uh, that pump just worked like a dream. So now we've officially mounted it and we're going to put the top on it. And this would be a pressure cap. Out. Pressure Crank, cap, is that what you call pressure. that? Crankcase pressure. Okay. So uh, 